In this second video in the ANSYS Grant to Selector series, I will be showing how to browse and search for materials as well as how to filter the materials based off of their properties and comparing the results. The first topic we'll be covering in this video is browsing for the material in question. Whenever you open Grant to Selector, the browse tool is automatically active. If it's not, you can simply come to the top left here and click on browse. Now, to pick which database to sort through, you can do that with this table field here. We're going to stick to the material universe because that's the scope of these videos. And then you can pick a specific subset of materials if you wish. So you can choose only to look for aerospace materials, all materials, that kind of thing. I'm gonna keep it set here to all materials. And now we're looking I'll we'll just walk through how to browse for a specific material. We'll just look for in a specific aluminum uh, alloy, aluminum 6061. So you're just going to navigate through this tree here to find the material in question. Uh, that will be under metals and alloys, so I'm going to click right there. It is a non-ferrous metal because it, it's not uh, a steel or iron-based metal. Then I'm going to come to aluminum. And I'm going to choose rot because this type of aluminum is a rot material. I'm going to go to the 6000 series and then 6061. And now you'll see there are different types of grades and tempers of materials here. And I'm just going to choose one of them. And you just double click to open up the specific data sheet for that metal. Now that we've covered the Browse feature in the Grant to Selector, I will now show you the Search feature. To access this feature, you come up here next to the Browse key and click on Search. And it will now pull up this search bar here where you can enter whatever material you want. So we're going to search for polypropylene, which is also known as PP. Then hit Enter, and you can see in the Material Universe here, we have found 108 materials that match polypropylene. And as we click on it, you'll see that there are all different sorts of grades and types of polypropylene. To open the data sheet for one of these, I'm just going to double click on the material. Now that we can browse and search for our materials, I will now show you how you can compare them using a comparison table. So what we're going to do in this exercise is we're just going to compare aluminum 6061 to uh, multiple types of stainless steels. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to search for 6061. And you'll see I have a few different grades of 6061 here. I'm just going to choose one right here, right click and hit set as reference. And now you'll see this little red push pin appears next to it. Um, what this does is it allows us to compare everything we search for uh, to our uh, aluminum. Now I'm going to search for stainless steel. And coming here into the material universe, I'm just going to double click on one of them to open the data sheet. Now I'll just look over this if I want to compare this to my aluminum. All I need to do is highlight it over here in the, the, the search tree, right click and hit add to comparison table. And you'll see when I do that, this comparison table is generated that just compares every, uh, every field within the data sheet to the aluminum one. And it highlights the main differences here. So you can see whether one material property is higher than the other material or lower. So here, just looking over, you can see that the stainless steel is a little more expensive. Um, you'll see that the Young's modulus is also higher. Um, yield strength is also higher. So you can look through this table in order to choose exactly which material might be best for you. If I want to compare more than one, all I need to do is highlight another one, right click and hit add to comparison table. All right. And now you see that the second one is added. If I ever want to remove one of the materials from the comparison table, I just hover over the title here and hit the X. And now you'll see that that material is removed from the comparison table. If at any point I want to just 
clear the comparison table, I can come up here and hit Tools, Comparison Table, Clear, All Tables. And if I want to clear my reference, I can uh, come back to Tools, Reference Record, Clear, All. And now you'll see that that reference is cleared out. In the final part of this video, I'll be showing how to filter materials based off of their material properties. So I'm going to start the same as the last video and just set this aluminum 6061 as my reference. And now I'm going to come to this chart select tool. And uh, up here you, choose, you can choose which material uh, database to choose from. I have it set to all materials in the material universe. And down here, where you see results, these are all of the different materials within the material universe that meets everything in these selection stages. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a selection stage limit right here, and then open that up. And here is where you can specify certain values for material properties, and uh, that will filter the results. So. I'm going to come here and I'm going to choose a uh, set a limit where I want a cheaper material than the 6061 that I'm working with. So I'm going to come here and uh, for my maximum price, I'm going to set that to be 172, which is the lower end of the reference range. And say I also want it to have a higher tensile strength. So I'm going to come to tensile strength and set my minimum as the upper end of the reference range here. So that's a 34.8. And now I'm just going to hit apply and you'll see now that uh, the 400 or 4,129 materials has now changed to 185. And all of these materials uh, meet these two requirements here. If I want to add them to a comparison table just to examine them, I can check off which ones I want here and hit comparison. And now I can look at a more in-depth comparison using this table. Uh, this concludes this video that covers the browsing, searching, filtering, and comparing functions within the Granta selector. Thank you for watching.